So, I mean, I, I know we kind of prior discussed this prior, but I, I, I am a firm believer that it, it's important to be transparent, like fully transparent in situations like this, because we were in a really good position back then. And people really don't like, yeah, they've heard my story and they heard your story and we've done like some radio interviews, but for us to have this conversation to be sitting here right now, I think is just important for people, you know, who are in situations like what we had to, to see us as like, just be adults and sit down and, and, and speak about this stuff. Even if some stuff does get uncomfortable or whatever it is, it's just important to have these kind of conversations. And yeah, I want people to just kind of learn from our mistakes, you know, whether, whether it was certain moments where one of us may have been too emotional or whatever, whatever it was, I want them to see stuff like this so they can be like, damn, that's exactly like what I'm doing. What, and, and let me not do that now. I'm glad that they said that because that really hits home, you know? So I, yeah, I, I, I just believe in transparency on such a level because I feel like you don't really see that much, you don't see it that much in the music industry where there's always like, um, some type of smoke and mirrors game going on, or you never really know what happened with the situation of why this group isn't together no more or whatever. You just mainly hear like whatever rap song came out about it and somebody said, fuck that person. And you don't really get to see them all sit down and discuss the details. So right. that's why I feel it's important so people can learn from it. Yeah. And I think for me, I mean, I agree with that as well, but I think, you know, in, in addition to that, um, you know, it's just just our relationship. Because I think as we talk about the story of Funk Volume, um, and I think even doing it now is different than doing it three years ago or four years ago, given that we're five years removed and different things have happened and we've had different experiences. We might even, th we probably would look at it different than if we talked about it right away. Yeah, yeah. Like, since we've had time to like really reflect and see how things play out. You know, I think we would have just a better perspective on things. But, yeah. you know, obviously since Funk Volume ended, you know, I, I do a, pa a passion project of mine is the Music Entrepreneur Club, which we talk about the business on a week on a weekly basis. Mm -hmm. um, I think this will be great knowing that I'm still connecting to artists that are trying to work things out with business people and, and, and still having some tension. I think that they'll, they'll learn a lot from this conversation. Yeah. Um, but I think... First and foremost, I think it's about our relationship and and just kind of going forward, because um, I think that our perspectives may have changed about some thir some, some things, and maybe yeah. they maybe they stayed the same. Mm -hmm. um, but I I think it I think it's healthy to to have the conversation, and given the fact that it ended publicly, um, we can resolve it publicly, or or at least talk about some things. Because right. I, I I I I do believe like yeah, if if, if there was such a especially on my be on my part there was such a big missile launched to end and destruct the situation i can put that same effort in to you know kind of heal the situation or or you know bring some kind of um closing to it where it can there can be peace 